Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Steve Norman reporting. In a historic decision, Britain has voted to leave the European Union in a referendum that stoked passions on issues such as immigration and sovereignty. Shortly after the results of the referendum were announced today, Prime Minister David Cameron, who supported staying in the EU, spoke outside his offices in London. Although leaving Europe was not the path I recommended, I am the first to praise our incredible strengths. I've said before that Britain can survive outside the European Union and indeed that we could find a way. Now the decision has been made to leave, we need to find the best way. And I will do everything I can to help. Cameron said he would leave the negotiation of the exit from the EU to Britain's next prime minister. Some British analysts say an exit from the EU will cause issues not only with Britain's economy but others as well. We get more now from BOA's Luis Ramirez in London. When you consider that Great Britain has uh, the is the second largest economy in the EU, that uh, tells you that uh, things will be affected largely, and uh, certainly those effects felt early Thursday when uh, opinion polls showed that uh, the Remain camp uh, might win this uh, this referendum. Uh, the uh, pound rallied. Markets in Europe rallied early in the day. Uh, that certainly has changed. That is VOA's Luis Ramirez in London. Certainty over the outcome of the referendum sent the British currency tumbling to a 31-year low against the U.S. dollar. And as global markets opened today, including U.S. stock futures, all plunged in today's trading. This is VOA News. The Colombian government and the leftist FARC rebels have signed a ceasefire and disarmament deal bringing Colombia a major step closer to ending more than 50 years of guerrilla warfare and terrorism. Meanwhile, security challenges remain between the Colombian government and a second insurgency, the leftist National Libertarian Army, uh, Liberation Army that is, where negotiations have not yet begun. United Nations Special Envoy for Syria, Staffan de Mistura, says his talks about a political transition in Syria need a boost. De Mistura said he hoped the negotiations could start soon, but explained they depended upon the humanitarian conditions and the security situation in Syria. Jan Eglin is a special assistant to de Mistura for humanitarian assistance for the Syrians who were caught in the middle of the civil war and the push by the Islamic State to establish a caliphate. We have so far this month been able to reach eight out of the 18 besieged areas. We hope to reach at least uh, seven more in the next week. Egelon and De Mistura spoke at a UN meeting in Geneva on the future of Syria. The government in Jakarta today said seven Indonesian sailors have been abducted at sea in the southern Philippines, the latest in a recent string of abductions in the waters between the two countries. Indonesia's foreign minister said the government will do everything possible to free these hostages. Officials have not confirmed whether a ransom demand had been made or whether the captors were members of the southern Philippine-based militant group Abu Sayyaf. Abu Sayyaf released 10 Indonesian sailors last month who had been held captive since March. President Obama's years-long push for immigration reform effectively came to an end on Thursday when a high court deadlock cast into question the future of millions of undocumented immigrants and dashed the administration's hope to make immigration reform a key part of Mr. Obama's legacy. President Obama spoke in the White House press room. Pretending we can deport 11 million people or build a wall without spending tens of billions of dollars of taxpayer money uh, is abetting uh, what is uh, really just factually incorrect. It's, it's not going to work. It's not good for this country. The president suffered a setback when the Supreme Court split evenly on his plan to shield an estimated 4 million undocumented immigrants from deportation. Get more news at voanews.com. That's the latest world news from VOA.